extra time. I think uh, you know if you look at the wicket which we are playing on right now, it's not even 15% of what we're going to get in the game. So we understand that there's no point wasting two days, you know, guys going in scoring quick 15s and coming out. We'd rather have them do two sessions like today, get into um, uh, the test match zone, you know, test ourselves. We can try and prepare the wickets the way we want to. But if you're playing a two-day game, there's no room for you know changing the wicket at different times of the day. So here we have the freedom to uh, you know. Just put more uh, water on the wicket, uh, roll it, make it harder. Come tomorrow's practice session, and then you know we have conditions that we want. So um, you're never sure of you know whether you're going to get quality practice games or not. Um, so we would rather have uh, practice sessions that are in our control, uh, the way we want to run them. And then you know it, it doesn't matter whether uh, you play three practice games if you're not in the right kind of frame of mind. Then it doesn't matter starting uh, you know on 5th of Jan. Uh, whether you played two practice games or three, if you are in a good headspace and you have practice sessions, I feel that's good enough as well. As you rightly mentioned, a lot of our players have played here before, but um, what he mentioned was the the number of games that we had played back then compared to now, and you know where we stand in understanding our own games is something that has come a long way in the last four years. Um, from from per, from a personal point of view, I know my game much better. You know, I've had highs and lows, many highs and lows after that. But right now, the, the team is very comfortable with uh, you know where we stand uh, individually as as uh, you know our, our personal skill sets plus as a team. We know exactly what we need to do if we need to bounce back from a certain situation, how we need to do it, or if we want to create chances, how we need to create them. So, I think there's a sense of intelligence and awareness that has creeped in in the last four years. And that provides the excitement that we are talking about. You know, we know exactly what we need to do uh, come game time on 5th Jan. It's not like we're going to go out there and explore. Let's see what happens. We're not in that frame of mind. We know how to win test matches now, and I think that's a very good um, habit and knowledge to have. And we are just, um, you know, preparing the best way we can to execute those skills. That's it. not like only two guys are playing in this series. Uh, AB is a, is a great friend of mine. Um, I respect you know, the, the, the way he plays the game and I've always respected him as a person as well. But when you're playing against each other, not that we cross the line with each other, you know, we're just, we just not like that with each other, we can't. Um, it's just about you know, wanting to get AB out and I'm sure the opposition would want the same when I play or Rahane plays or Pujara plays as well. I don't think there's any difference in terms of you know the, the mindset in any of the batsmen in the side. Everyone wants to be the standout player in the series and make contributions towards the team winning the series. And uh, unless you have that as a group, you don't have many chances of winning a series. Some people might have brilliant individual performances, but then you know you'll, you'll always be fine with um, you know one or two people doing well. But right now, the, the the kind of hunger we have in the group, everyone wants an opportunity, and I think that's a very exciting thing. I can't speak for the opposition. Because AB hasn't played much Test cricket, you know, since he played against us, and he's coming back after a while. Um, but look, setting apart, you know, all the the spice created on the outside uh, regarding the series, I think the team that plays well together for a longer period of time um, has better chances of winning the series. Well, all I'll say is this team uh, is up for the challenge. In fact, uh, if you asked me four years ago uh, whether it was up for the challenge, I would have said no. But uh, this team's gained an experience now. And like Virat mentioned, uh, you've got bench strength in your fast bowling department, which is the key in taking 20 wickets in the places you mentioned. And uh, the beauty about this team is it doesn't matter which opposition it is. We respect all opposition. We look at the pitch and adapt to those conditions. As simple as that, it doesn't matter who the opposition is. Every game is a home game. Even this is a home game at Newlands. You see the pitch, you adapt. No excuses, no complaints. Two teams have to play on that surface. If tomorrow you go to England, it might be seeming all over the place. You know, you come to India, 
it might be turning. So you know, it's it's not a question of if you want to be rated as a side, you adapt to those conditions. It's as simple as that. You know, they, they, you know leave all the other crap aside. Just get out there and try and compete in those conditions, whatever is on offer. Hit the subscribe option and the bell icon to get all the exclusive sports videos on Extra Time.